Hello and welcome to this week's Kotlin Weekly Editorial. This is the 16th of February 2021. So we are right into the Chinese New Year Golden Week. A happy new year. Cautious optimism to, for Chinese open tourism in 2021. Actually, the headline of this week's uh, happy, a happy new year question mark was exactly the headline of the Quarter Weekly editorial on January 8th, 2020, at the beginning of last year. Of course, we're talking about 2020 instead of 2021. So some clouds on the horizon could already be seen by me at that time. And a few, few weeks later, when the year of the red started, uh, I reminded uh, the readers of the SARS crisis of 2003. And uh, let me quote from this one-year-old editorial. Unknown at the time, in November 22, 2002, SARS, the severe acute respiratory syndrome, started in Guangzhou and spread to many countries in the world. On March 15, 2003, the WHO issued a global alert about a new infectious disease advising against any unnecessary travel to and from East Asia. On April 2nd, Chinese officials finally began reporting the severity and extent of the SARS outbreak. As a result, the second quarter of 2003 saw almost no Chinese citizens traveling abroad. For the whole year, the number of outbound trips jumped from 60 million in 2003, then to 29 million in 2004, but of course less in, 20, in 2000, sorry, 2003. With the yet not fully named 2019 NCOF, so again quoting from one year ago, things could turn out in a similar way based on what is known until now. On the one hand, the disease is spreading much faster giving the much improved domestic and international transport infrastructure, which is available com in comparison to 2003. On the other hand, the Chinese government reacts in a much different way to the crisis. Among many others, starting from the 27th of January, 2020, all group travel from China ceased. Individual travelers, however, will have a bigger in incentive than before to go abroad. So this was a picture at the beginning of the year of the red one year ago. So that cautious optimism, alas, was defeated by the strengths of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Now, a few days after the start of the Chinese New Year of the yin metal ox, we find ourselves in a similar situation in hoping that the restart, the revenge consumption, will bring back Chinese visitors supported by Research results like the recent one from TCI research, which showed that more than two thirds of Chinese outbound travelers plan to travel long distance as soon as possible again. Among all the panic and despair, a look at the numbers may help. More than 741,000 daily new cases on a seven day base were reported worldwide on January 11, 2021. Within one month, this number fell to 450,000 new cases and on February 15 to less than 400,000. So almost half of the number uh, about five weeks ago. This is still a high number, but shows the effect of social distancing plus vaccination measures. Even more importantly, the number of COVID-19 related deaths dropped within two weeks from more than 14,000 to less than 12,000 per day globally. European countries are still the home of most deaths if measured in relation to the total population, with 14 of the top 15 countries located in Europe, the USA being the only exception. The yin metal ox year is supposed to reflect the character of the ox a steadfast, strong beast that bluffs the soil, not hurrying 
but never giving up, bluffing on in all conditions to achieve its task. Let's hope this year is going to be much like that, a slow and steady pace to recovery from a, to put it mildly, turbulent year, combined with the money aspect of the metal and the softening influence of yin for increased international solidarity and cooperation. So all best wishes for the new year and best regards as always from me, Professor Dr. Wolfgang Georg Art and the whole Coterie Weekly team. Thank you very much. Hello, and thanks for watching the monthly update on China's Alpine Tourism brought to you by Kotri China Alpine Tourism Research Institute. My name is Professor Dr. Wolfgang Georg Alt, and I will share with you insights and latest developments as a part of the CTT China Tourism Training every month. Click below to subscribe and click on the bell for automatic reminders of new available content.